Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Fist Stardust and welcome back to The Sims 3. In this video we're taking a look at the uncommonly good and the omni plant slash cheese slash meat planting abilities in The Sims 3 skill opportunity. Now basically you will get it uh, once your gardening skill reaches level 8. I would recommend that you get the green thumb and the ultra green thumb as well because you will need a lot of them you will need a lot of things i have planted a lot of things and for the first 20 pieces that you'll need to deliver you'll need any basically any anything times 20 that's excellent or above quality so i have done it come back for a new challenge in your level 9 gardener now basically, uh, you'll be able to plant eggs and trees that turn into eggplants and cheese plants. The delicious and frightening possibilities are endless. Okay, now to prepare for the next one, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and teleport back here. Go ahead and shop. You're going to want to buy some eggs and some... Uh, yeah, that'll be under here. Now I'm going to plant 10 of each, just like that. And if you really want something good for uh, fertilizer, the lobster is very good and an affordable option as well, uh, especially when they're having a sale. So yeah, there we go. Broadway cameo, no. Ah, there we go. And if you're a celebrity, you'll be paying even less money. Now the fertilizer strength is outstanding even though it's store-bought it's very good also when you're turning in all of your uh, goods in there uh, make sure that you don't actually turn in any death flowers that you don't have any death flowers in your inventory because that can get sucked away as well now we're just going to go ahead and plant 10 egg and 10 cheese plants and Basically, we're gonna want to get them as high quality as we can. I already have some uh, other plants here because I want to. Uh, because I'm working for a fairy video and I need some specific plants. I need more glow caps and I'm basically running low on them. So I'll be growing that alongside with this. I also have the, my three other Sims over here. They're basically just grinding it out. And you need to keep an eye out for the skill opportunity because they are rare and you can actually wait for quite a long time before you actually get it. So there we go, fertilize garden with the best fertilizer, that'll be this one. Okay, for the next uh, opportunity in the quest chain, it is outstandingly rare. Now basically we'll need to bring 10 excellent quality cheeses to the restaurant. Uh, basically, we got that in. Uh, so from the last one, you're gonna you gain the option to plant. Uh, I believe it's eggs and cheeses. Cheeses and eggs after you complete the commonly good, which is the first one. Now for this one, we'll need to have planted and to have the actual produce. So I know I have the produce. Um, it's just uh, rich people problems. I have no idea in which refrigerator I actually put them in. Most likely in this one. Okay, so I'm just going to take all the 150 cheeses. And we're just going to go ahead and deliver the produce since I already planted it. You can get the lobsters, which I have here, as fertilizer. You can buy them from the shop and just go ahead and plant them and harvest your cheeses. Uh, next up, uh, you'll be able to plant burgers and steaks to turn into burger patty plants and steak plants. There we go. And now we're just going to go across the uh, across the street, and we're just going to go ahead and buy the patty. I'm actually going to be planting six of them and six of steaks. Basically, the next one that will come is 
the omnificent plant which calls for growing and delivering 10 awesome steaks now basically we should I'm gonna plant 10 steaks I'm not going anywhere and of course you're gonna want to get the lobster because it has the fertilizer strength of outstanding we're just going to go ahead and buy those items there we go and since you are a celebrity you will save up a bunch of money then I'm just going to go ahead and buy them then I'm going to well basically give myself the opportunity since it is pretty rare for the opportunity to come okay uh, here we go 10 sticks which are of uh, outstanding quality and we're just going to go ahead and deliver the products the produce to where it needs to be delivered and we'll gain the ability to plant the omni plant you can feel the huge variety of things it's amazing what you can do with modern farming techniques blah 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 and we actually have six omni plant seeds and I actually need five of them and I'll show you the end result well I guess I can plant all six of them it doesn't matter okay so I have actually planted the omni plants down now there is basically nothing that I can do currently until they grow a little bit more and I'll show you once the, when they come to that stage Basically, you'll be able to feed them, for example, dead fishes or some books or some other objects, and they'll be able to grow those objects again and again. And, and in order to get more seeds, you go to the science facility over here, and you will be able to join, join, tour, take, okay, oh, no, 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 my bad. From the mailbox, you'll be able to order Omni plant seeds. Okay, so here we go. Here are the six Omni plants. They have reached that uh, stage of uh, maturity. And now we can actually feed them. So, what I'm going to do is just grab me three death fishes that I have in my refrigerator. Yes. And I'm going to get one anglefish and the rest, the other two, I'm going to feed lobsters. So basically, we click on it, we go ahead and go feed. Let's feed it anglefish. This one we're going to feed lobster. This one we're going to feed lobster. This one I'm going to feed death fish. We wait, feed death fish, feed death fish. Okay, there we go. Now, if we go ahead and click on it, we can go ahead and check on diet. Currently being fed anglefish, and I'll show you once uh, it's actually ready to harvest, which should be in a day or two. Okay, here we go. So the Omni plant is actually done. I don't really see the fish. It's like a generic sort of fish. It doesn't have the death uh, fish model, but let's harvest it. Well, yeah, it is giving me it did give me death fishes, which is nice. But it's also kind of weird, in all honesty, but yeah. You can grow uh, whatever you wish to grow in there. And that's basically it.